T I E. T I E and your mm -hmm. last name? Irwin. I R W I N. And mm -hmm. your name, sir? John Irwin. John. Okay. Tell me, give me a rundown this morning. What did y'all work? Left uh, the house and what happened? I was on my way to take my son to school, and it was about seven this morning, and. Um, I passed this truck that was sitting there and I didn't think anything about it and then I went on about maybe a hundred more feet and this man come running out of the woods. He had tape all over him. It looked like he had been beaten. Uh, he had his hands up and he was hollering and screaming for help to call 911 that these people were, had kidnapped him and that they were trying to kill him and that they were going to set him on fire today and he said that the truck got stuck and he got to where he could get loose and that's when he took off and ran and I had just happened to come around and met up with him and um, I didn't want to stop but then when I looked my rear view mirror I seen him and I knew that something was wrong and that's when I pulled over to help him and I automatically called 911 and helped him in the car and he was crying just literally begging for help and he had been beaten and it was just terrible I mean and so we Going, we went ahead and came to the school, and that's when um, the officers came and the ambulance and everything. And uh, he said he had been locked in the trunk for about two or three days and uh, hogtied and blindfolded. And then he said they stopped to get the gas can out of the trunk, and they got gas in it, and they put it back hey, in the on, trunk. Hang on just a second. Y'all, I'm picking your voices up the back row, okay? Hang on just a second. Okay. Go ahead and start with about the gas. He, okay, he said from the time in the truck. Okay. Okay. Uh, he said that he he they stopped and they got the gas can out of the trunk where he was at. They got the gas and they put it back in the trunk with him, so he started smelling it. So um, then I guess that's when they drove. They're from uh, Galena Park. They're not even from around here. And he they hog tied him and chained him or hog tied him to the tree and they were gonna set him on fire, he said. He, they were getting ready to burn him to death and uh, he had got loose when they wasn't looking and that's when he got to run away from them and run out to the road to try to get help. And, and I was the only car that was coming and, and I was lucky to, to help him. You was know? He was, okay, so it was, what, the, uh, it was that car, the, the Mercedes? Yes, mm -hmm. the yes. Mercedes. BMW? Yes, yes. it was stuck and uh, they had went. They had left him alone to get it unstuck, mm -hmm. and by the grace vehicle. of God, he uh, got loose. Was he back in the woods? Did he yes, say he was yeah, in he, the woods. Yeah, he was in the woods, and he probably ran a hundred feet up, and then he 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 well he come hit. out to the road, and that's when I was coming around, and I saw him, and he was screaming bloody murder for help, and please call nine one to help me. They they kidnapped me. They're about to kill me. They have guns. They all had guns, and um. What about, okay, so he basically was just telling, he was just giving him basically, tell, okay, he came out of the woods and what now? What else did he have? Uh, he was basically just had his hands up uh, begging me to stop and help him and uh, that he had been kidnapped for about three or four days. He didn't even know what day it was, uh, where he was at, you know, uh, he said he was from Sanderson County somewhere and uh, he was all taped up and beat up. He looked like he had been beaten and had bruises and marks all over him and he was crying and uh and and I, I got him in the we got him in the car and I immediately called 911 and uh then we took I took off and we came we went on came to the school and then the sheriff's department and all that came in and so, and assessed you know everything so it was in the meantime they got that somehow got the car unstuck did he say how many people were in the car there were four there, supposedly there were four uh, and um, one is still on the loose um, but they caught they caught two or three of them but one is still on the loose and they were all armed uh, with 50 calibers no, I don't know just on armed. Or, he didn't that's know what, what the guy told me yeah. they had all kind of guns you the kids in the car with you uh, just we my son, son was boy. with me okay. all right what uh, I mean how the kids react he was very mental I mean he was he was saying that he, he was, had you must have had a bad day <laughs> I'm sorry yeah. I mean, just seeing it, and I've never been any, through anything like this before, but, you know, I think God was telling me to pull over and help this man because I don't pick up nobody. Mm -hmm. At first, I thought it was an animal. I didn't know really until I looked in my rearview mirror and I seen this tape and all over him, and, uh, you know, and, and, and I knew, and he was crying out for help. 
literally. Where, where was he taped? All over? He was he taped was, all yeah. over, up, I mean, all through him and around him. He was blindfolded with duct tape over his mouth. He had it, uh, his wrists were together, his feet were together, duct taped. Uh, and he just, he would look like he had been beaten. And, uh, and I just thank God that, you know, I was there to help him because he probably would have died today. Yeah, they, they would have chased him down. They were getting ready to chase him down and they didn't see him get away until we pulled up to him. When we pulled up to him, they, the kidnappers seen us putting him in the car. So they backed up. They were trying to pull the car out. They, they were was trying, stuck. yeah. They were trying to pull That's the car. That's how the guy out. got and then away. Pull up, they pull back, looking. pull up, and pull back. And I'm thinking, well, these guys are either hiding or trying to hide or or something. We didn't know the car was stuck, mm -hmm. but we, you know. But we had this feeling that they just kidnapped and I was scared to death that they were gonna come, maybe chase me down, you know. But they didn't. I got here, and and, and the law got here. You brought them here at the junior high school. Yeah, because okay. I was at school. What when you pulled up the school? What you say? I mean, who did you contact when you got to the school here? Well, I was already on 911 before I got. To to here mm -hmm. and uh, when I got here I parked and I just kept talking to them and then um, I let the uh, the guy that was kidnapped I let him talk to him and uh, some of the staff workers come out you know to help and and then the ambulance come out and, uh, and then the sheriff's what, department and, then and all when that. they couldn't find the other guy they, they locked went, the school they went down and, try, and, and got some of them but one did get away and the Splendor Police Department did a really good job by being there. I mean, we were on the phone. I didn't think they were doing anything about it, you know, and but they did a really good job yeah. catching these guys. Yeah. I mean, I'd, I'd never imagined anything like this happening out here. I mean, I just, I've been mentally distressed and crying all day. I, but I'm just glad that I could, I was there to help him and that he's okay because if I wouldn't have been, there was no other cars around. He, he probably could have died today and burnt to death, yeah. you know. So they just, were about to chase him. Once they seen him out on the road, they were all out there fixing to chase him. And then they seen us. Did he say why they kidnapped him or anything? Did they give any indication what he, he just said something about some kind of revenge deal. I, he really didn't say a whole lot. The police probably knows more about but, it uh, than us. Right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, just look over this way, it won't blind you as bad. Okay, what is your name? John William Jolin. John William? Jolin. Spell your last name? J-O-E-H-L-I-N. Okay, you were with your mom this morning going to school. Tell me what happened. What you, what... Um, we pulled out, uh, she was taking me to school, and we passed up a truck, and my mom was kind of looking at it. And then when we got down the road, this man come running out of the woods, and I thought it was a boy with a Halloween mask on or something, but when I really got to looking, it was just some duct tape all over him. And my mom, my stepdad says, hold up, stop. My mom's like, okay. So she pulls over and he comes running up to the car and he's like, they're trying to kill me. And uh, he had been kidnapped. Yeah, he had been kidnapped for a couple days. And my mom said, I'm calling 911 right now. And then he said, they got guns and everything else. Let's go. And my mom's like, okay. So we got in the car. We come down the road to my school. And we come up here. And then the cops started uh, talking to him and everything. And the ambulance came here. What about, tell me during school today. Well, I mean, I'm sure there were rumors all over oh, the place. Yeah. So we've heard rumors the, all day from the school. Day. We had lockdown in our school. The kids were just going crazy over it. I mean, everything. What kind of what were you? What kind of stories were hearing other kids? They were hearing that I picked up some maniac, some kind of maniac guy with tape on him trying to jump on our car or something. They just tell me all <laughs> kinds of different stuff. Did they ever know it was you that had stopped or not? Yeah, they knew it was me. They knew it was me because they seen me out here with my mom and everybody and the cops and everything. They seen the man with the duct tape and everything like that. My coach especially, he was he was kind of asking me what happened and everything. That's the only person I talked to when I got here. Mm -hmm. yeah. What? I mean, how'd you feel? I mean, you seen this thing. I, mean, uh, I it, it Personally, it tripped me out. I've never seen anything like that in my life. Especially nothing. We were scared. I was. I wasn't scared. It was just I've never seen that before. I mean, it was just like, oh, this guy's running down the road, got kidnapped, and they're gonna kill him and everything else. And I'd never seen nothing like that before in my life. Okay. All right. What Jamie, you got anything? Yeah. Eighth grade. I want, I, I don't want to what add something. What coach was that you were talking to? Doug Williams. What coach? <laughs>